When you're working on something in Unreal Engine, you'll often need screenshots to show off or promote your project. I'll show you a couple of different techniques and options you can use to create better screenshots. If you only need a simple screenshot at the default resolution, just hitting F9 on your keyboard is enough. And you can simply click the prompt at the bottom to open the folder where your image is saved. But there's also a way to take screenshots at much higher quality. Click on the hamburger menu in the top left. There should be an option called High Resolution Screenshot. You can simply press Capture to save a screenshot on your machine. But with the default options, this is the same as just hitting F9. To take really awesome screenshots, we'll need to tweak a few more things. The most obvious thing is the screenshot size multiplier. You can easily double or quadruple the resolution of your image to create really high quality screenshots. But you gotta be careful not to set this too high since it can crash Unreal Engine. Another thing to note is that the aspect ratio of your viewport plays a role in how the picture is taken. So unless you're making a smartphone game, you should probably have the viewport at something close to 16x9. Or simply hit F11 to go into full screen mode. When we look at our screenshots, we can see that a few widgets and outlines of collision boxes are also being captured, which is something you probably don't want. While the viewport is active, you can simply press G to hide all of the widgets. Another great option is use custom depth as mask. This allows us to specify which objects to capture and gives our image a transparent background. You will first need to select all of the static and skeletal meshes which you want to capture. In my case the mesh of the bull, the axe and all of the armor pieces. Then look for the render custom depth pass option and enable it. In the high res screenshot window we now just have to enable use custom depth as mask and will only capture the selected meshes. In the viewport, the background will show up as green, but the actual image will have transparency, so you can use it in many different ways. You will most likely want to show your character in various actions when taking screenshots. An easy way to change the pose of your character is using the sequencer. Right click in the content browser, navigate to animation and level sequence. Select the character and add it to the sequencer. Add a track for the character mesh. Then select the animation you want to play and move the playhead to the desired pose. And then take a screenshot. You also shouldn't forget about your post processing. This is something you should have set up for your game regardless and there are many tutorial videos about this topic. But you might want to tweak a few things when you are taking screenshots. Search for the post processing volume in the world outliner. If you don't already have one, you can add a new one by clicking on the Add symbol, Visual Effects and Post Processing Volume. You also want to make sure that Unbound is enabled. There are many settings you can tweak here, but what I usually do is just increase the saturation and the contrast a bit to make the image look more vibrant. Of course you can do further adjustments later on in the image editing software of your choice. Sometimes just setting up the poses for your shot manually is not enough though, and you want to take high res screenshots during gameplay. You can actually fire off the capture command for high res screenshots from your blueprints as well, to capture the perfect moment. You just need to call the execute console command node and write the high res screenshot command and the resolution. There are many options you can add to this command to mimic what you can select in the menu, so I'll leave a link to the official documentation in the description. So now that you know how to take awesome screenshots, feel free to hop into our Discord and show off your projects. I'm excited to see what you're working on. Also check out this video about how I made a game for the Donkey Kong Bongos in Unreal Engine 5. 